loves, welcome back. I hope that you are doing super, super good. So today we are doing, will the person that you're thinking of return to you? And I was really, really drawn to these more magical decks today. So if you haven't seen them before, this is the beautiful Orisha's Tarot. Now, most of you know my links with Brazil. Um, and I find this tarot deck works really, really strongly with the energetic frequency uh, that we put out there. So this is deck number one. And deck number two is the Wizard's Tarot. Now, before I get you to pick your deck, I just want to give you guys an update. If you haven't seen it, um, there is a new channel that I am doing with my friend, colleague, co-writer. Um, and it's called Moonday underscore Musings. And it is on YouTube. And it's a podcast podcast for each week with an astrology and tarot reading so we're going to do your cards for the week and do the astrology for the week and tell you what you guys can expect so you can find us youtube at moonday underscore musings it's also on instagram moonday underscore musings um and i think on facebook it's just moonday musings moon as in the moon day like monday but with an extra o and um, reason why we chose that name is because we put the podcast out on a monday and it is ruled monday is ruled by the moon so it's called Moonday Musings. So yeah, go check it out. Deck number one, deck number two. Pick the deck you are most drawn to. And we will go. So I want you to just think about your person as we go into that energy. And we're just going to do, are they going to return to you? So probably quite a quick reading today. Um, unless loads of hidden decks come up that we need to be discussing. Let's have a look. So we're just going into your energy and your person's energy. And your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. I'm really hot. I'm just having a bit of a hot flush at the moment. <laughs> so if I look a bit, uh, a little bit sweaty, it's because I'm a bit hot. Okay. There is a card that fell there. And I thought, I thought that was spirit for a second. I was like, I just felt something touch me. And I was like, oh, I couldn't see it. Um, can I have some cards? And will that person return to them too? So we've got this kind of, as I'm pulling the cards, I'm getting the energy um, of the song of the class, should I stay or should I go? And that is coming forward really, really strongly between you guys. I'm just going to get one more over the top. So we have got this kind of sense of confusion going on with you. Um, you're not really sure how they're feeling, what they're thinking, what's going on and where the energy is currently at. And that is really reflecting in these cards. So the situations of you guys hasn't quite gone the way you were anticipating, hoping or wanting. OK, so you've got this very strong confusion energy coming forward with this. Sorry, I recorded my phone and my phone went. So you have got this very strong confusion energy coming up around this. And your person really isn't sure what to do about the situation. Now, it feels like they've had to take a step back because they needed a bit of space. They were probably feeling overwhelmed, unsure, uncertain on what was going on. And there also seems to be a little bit of a mix match in your energy. So you've got over here the Queen of Wands. And over here, you've got the Emperor. So your person will be standing in this emperor position and you will be standing in the queen of wands energy. So what this is saying is this is all your passions, your joys, your um, sexual energy, your power. And your person is still feeling quite stubborn over the situation. And in this mind frame where you two are, we have this very strong state of indecision. They haven't quite made a choice yet on if they will return to you. So I'm going to have to pull some future cards a bit further down the line. These are just talking, the other two cards you got were the six of pence and the two of pence. So they're all about kind of balancing stability, security. So when we're looking at your person returning, returning to you, you are going to be looking at something that is longer term. So if you're expecting to hear from them, like kind of immediately, it's going to be a little bit of pause. It's further down the line. Um, with two twos showing up and, you know, I always a, a sucker for the numbers. Two, two, two is always a symbol or a sign um, that someone will be returning to you. OK, now it could be that this situation has had circumstances which have driven it in this way, where there is that state of confusion going on and not much really happening, not much really progressing, that stagnancy. And um, so it could be that circumstances have caused this. And this is why it's gone so peak tongue and why there is a state of confusion that follows it. So let's just put these cards back in as I just go a little bit deeper into the future. So can you tell me the longer term future of these two? Will there be communication? contact anything along those lines ten of pentacles so they are focusing very much on family at this moment in time 
We've also got the High Priestess, which is you guys, and the Calvary Shells, which is Divination, which I just love, and the Three of Pens. So it does look like there is going to be a way for this all to work out between you guys depending on what their circumstances are doing so their circumstances over here like i said very family orientated so you might find that family have been interfering people have been interfering it could be potentially third party relationships if you know about that like other people being involved in the situation has caused it to go the way it has now if you don't know about that that's probably because i'm not talking to you so don't get your knickers in a twist over it so you've got this energy over here that they are really focusing on other things so the saving grace of all of this even though there's a state of confusion is the high priestess so she kind of comes in at the end which is saying remember who you are so if you want the situation to do a 180 and come back to you you can manifest it you can do magic you can give me a shout if you need even manifestations of magic um and we can have a look at this situation for you if we can move it forward for you we will um but you have this state of confusion yeah, master state of confusion. So looking deeply into the future, and you might find that you're not getting too many answers at this moment in time. And that is because the answer lies within you. So it's kind of working out what you want and then allowing it to come into fruition. So at the moment, it's a bit stagnant, to be honest. I know you're not going to like that. It is a bit stagnant. But if you want the magic, like if you want us to, to work on moving it forward, just give me a shout, mrlovetarot at gmail.com and we'll see what we can do. And if God has say yes, you can then we can. Um, if they're like, no, it's not going to work, then I have to listen to what they say. And obviously we have no impact on free will. So I can't do anything that, that is that way inclined. Um, so where is it at the moment? It's currently the, the two of you and them returning to you. It's a little bit dormant right now. Um, a little bit asleep. It has got the chance to come back, but it depends on what you guys want and how you want it to align for you. Bit of a difficult one number reading number one i know a bit bit tough i know it's only four minutes long but it is it's is a bit of a tough reading actually it's longer because I, I cut it didn't i <laughs> all right let's just talk chop and change and switch deck over to deck number two okay deep breath in for me guys and we're just going to go into the mutual energy of you and your person so let's just get that and let's have a look Ooh, at them returning to you So I'm getting this song, uh, it's always two steps forward and three steps back, I can't remember who sang that, um, but that is coming up. And what Spirit are saying with that song, uh, Spirit being uh, your loved ones, helpers and guides, what they are saying with that is just because um, it's gone away again, it doesn't mean that it won't return in the future. Okay, so it seems to be a little bit of a cycle that you guys are in. You might have had this kind of karmic energy flowing between the two of you. Could be that you've got past life connections, um, which have induced this kind of level of karma for you guys. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on as well, go check out the podcast, a new podcast that I'm doing with Josie Vinton. Um, you can just find that at Moonday underscore Musings on YouTube. And we're also putting it on Spotify and iTunes, but it, I don't think it is up yet. But it will be in the next few days, I think. Okay. Right, you and your person. Yes, they will return. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, they will. They will return to you. Um, and it's kind of not too far away. So the first card kind of coming up is Temperance. All right. Now, Temperance is my least favourite card in Tarot. And everyone that knows me knows that Temperance is my least favourite card in Tarot. Because I find it a little bit here, a little bit there. It's got one foot in this world. It's got one foot in the next world. But nothing particularly is happening. It's like that patience, that balance, that alchemy to have transitions and changes. Now, the thing with Temperance is that it has to have that pause for the alchemy to happen. So there is potentially delays in then coming back to you. So if you're expecting it, yeah, you've got this little bit of keep balance, it's going to happen. And I also feel with that, I want to say have faith in the process. Okay, have faith in the process, what Spirit is saying to me. The other cards that are really interesting that have come out are the Fool, the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. These three all together, I just love. I love, love, love. So what these are saying is there is new romantic beginnings here should you wish to take them. The Fool is saying, take a leap of faith, let's go for it. Again, a new beginnings card. And the Knight of Swords is this immediate action coming in. So your person might not do something for a little bit of time. Don't feel too long. You're probably looking about two weeks, two months, uh, the second of a month, etc. But then this immediate action coming in from them and they're going to be moving towards you. They're going to be riding towards you with this need to communicate really, really rapidly. And the communication that they're going to say is, let's start again. Let's have a new beginning. 
Now, depending on what you want at the time, that might become a little bit difficult for you if you're not particularly interested in having this brand new sparkly new begin beginning with them because you think they're being a bit of an arse. But you have got that sweeping movement coming in of them communicating with you. OK, so absolutely. Yeah, they're coming back. Now, the only other card that came out was the Two of Pence. And if we look at the Temperance and the Two of Pence on this, we can definitely see the Infinity sign coming up on both of them. So this signifies that it is a more divine connection. You probably waver in and out of each other's life. And that is what Spirit was saying at the start. If you've been in this cycle before, you will return to the cycle again. They will come back to you. OK, so they will return a um, little bit of a pause on it all, but it's not too far in the future. And when they do return, it's communication about where they want this relationship to go and how they want it to work out between you. So that is really, really positive. I love deck number two. OK, so if you need me, just give me a shout. I do same day return on voice note readings at the moment. Um, so if you want the answer today, I can get it back to you today. Uh, go check out Moonday Musings for the podcast for the week. Um, Moonday underscore Musings for the podcast for the week. And if you need me for anything else, Instagram, Facebook, just Mystic Love Tarot, you can find me. Um, I am easily findable should you need it. OK, guys, love you lots and I will speak to you super, super soon. Have a totally blessed week.